The Israeli army has a new secret weapon, snark. If you're one of the IDF's one million followers on Twitter, you'll have noticed it has some sass in its step. It's not just replicating press statements in 280 characters, it's using withering sarcasm to take down its foes on the virtual battlefield. 10,000 retweets for this map with what look like Microsoft Paint arrows telling Iran to get out of Syria. After European scientists photographed a black hole, the IDF hijacked that hashtag to poke fun at Iran's revolutionary guards. And when the British Labour Party wished Jews a happy Passover, yes, that is a loaf of bread right in the middle, the IDF joined in the international mockery, wishing everyone happy holidays and using the exact same template. So is it puerile fun or cutting edge communications? Here to discuss, we have David Patrick Harakos, author of the best-selling War in 140 Characters, just shortlisted for the British Army's uh, Book of the Year Award. Congratulations, David. Uh, and Elisa Landis, who founded the IDF, uh, what is now IDF uh, Social Media Empire. Elisa, you must be happy with uh, what has emerged from uh, your early efforts. I am nothing but proud and amazed at how far the entire initiative has come and how willingly the Army has now embraced social media and has provided enough flexibility for the unit to be even able to display snark or sarcasm or what have you. David, what do you think is the target audience of tweets like these? We've seen the normal news updates, but, but, but the posts that are explicitly sarcastic or snarky or humorous, what's the target audience? What's it trying to achieve? Look, I think rather than the target audience is, is understanding the medium on which it is disseminated. Now, McClellan was right years ago when he said that the message is the medium, or the medium is the message, rather. Now, look, this is Twitter, okay? Twitter is you know, a subversive, edgy, in some ways counter-cultural counter, counter space, and certainly quite a hostile, or uh, if not hostile, combative space. So in order to get noticed, you have to be edgy. You have to, be, you have to understand the space, and you have to act in it. Social media is geared toward virality. It's geared towards making things go viral, which means you need to be a bit sensationalist, which means you need to be a bit humorous, which needs, means you need to be very visual, all these sorts of things. Now, the IDF has understood this very clearly and very carefully, as they told me in my book. Uh, this is something that has been taken to heart, and it's something they've done very well. Now, every so often, can you, you know, there are issues, you know, do you get involved in the politics of another country? But on balance, this is the way you need to behave on social media, and they get it very well. Being conservative, being bland doesn't get you anywhere. That's just the sharp reality of it. Uh, Lisa, the, camp the campaign is, is cheeky, it's, it's irreverent. Do you think the army has to pay any attention to being quote-unquote appropriate? I mean, we just saw the example now mocking the British Labour Party. Some people might think that's a line too far to cross for a foreign army. I mean, I, my personal opinion is that staying in your lane is usually the best approach, but I also agree with David that you have to take initiative and be assertive, especially on social media. I mean, look at the CIA Twitter account, right? They're putting up snarky, funny, amusing things, and they get tons of attention for it. Um, here, I, I don't know who's running the CIA Twitter feed, but here, I think we if also... If we did, they'd have to kill us. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But you also have to remember that the people who are putting together the content for these social media posts are 18 to 22 year olds. They would be interns anywhere else. Um, so maybe sometimes they take, make a false step or go a little bit too far, but at least they're trying. At least they're showing initiative and they're thinking outside the box.